So sustainability in space is obviously of fundamental importance to us. So without a sustainable space environment, we can't operate, nor can our colleagues in the industry, and then we can't deliver the services to our customers. So we've got a number of different um, approaches to, to ensuring sustainability in space. We're members of the Space Data Association, um, and that helps some commonality in terms of approaches amongst the major operators. We uh, work actively to mitigate any risks around our satellites, any, any potential failures, etc. And we also, um, when they've retired, we put them into a, a sustainable orbit so we don't deorbit them anymore. We keep them in space, but in a safe um, orbit so that they're out of the way. Equally, we're looking now at launching um, mission extension vehicles so that what we can do is rather than um, retire at aging satellites, we can actually extend the life of those satellites. So what that does is it gives us the opportunity to launch fewer satellites and keep some of the ones that are in space in, in service for a longer period of time. And that is also extremely useful for us. The Gulf region is very interesting for us in terms of in-flight connectivity. There are clearly some very major global players here from an airline perspective, and we work with some of those today. Equally, there are a number of emerging airlines that have just been founded or that have got really ambitious growth plans. So again, we're talking to those to make sure that their passengers, their customers have got best-in-class connectivity. First responders and what we're doing there, satellite's great for them. So it offers them the opportunity to, to bring up services almost immediately, whether it's civil defense, uh, so police, ambulance, fire, or whether it's people such as the Red Crescent and others, they use satellite in this region, but also globally to help connect where, wherever there's a need. It's the most innovative time, perhaps in the industry for, for many decades in my view. And, and we're taking a very uh, innovative and sort of uh, lean forward approach to that. So we've invested a tremendous amount of money in a next generation software defined network. As I already mentioned, we're looking at ways to uh, improve our sustainability and improve the lifetime of our existing satellites. And what we're moving toward is something that's incredibly flexible, incredibly powerful, and that is based on 5G standards. So that for our customers, whether they're large telcos, smaller enterprise connectivity networks, first responders or others, all of the devices will be interoperable across networks. So that's the direction we're headed. We love all the innovation and we're very much a part of that. One hundred percent. I think the whole sort of non-terrestrial network integration is really moving at pace. People can see that satellite can play an important role in complementing the network, providing, let's say, denser coverage in certain areas where needed. So there are multiple different areas that satellite can play a part, and people are really recognizing the value that can bring to their network. What's going on in the region? It's a really exciting area for us. Uh, there's a massive amount of innovation and investment in infrastructure going on across, across, the, across the region. Um, we're looking to extend some fairly significant partnerships with people, some, some of it around sustainability, for example. We're hoping that we can bring in some more IFC connectivity so that people get better Wi-Fi on planes. Uh, and we're looking at increasing our presence here as well. We've got a, a very uh, dynamic and, and growing office in Dubai, and it may well be that we start to do more across the region as well uh, as the year progresses.